All right, so we're here with the infamous Chuck Ellis. You can see from the t-shirt, Chuck Ellis Workouts. Um, we want to get a little feedback and update on how he got to where he's at now and where, from where he started at Strawberry Mansion. Uh, when we was at Mansion, Chuck wasn't on the team, but Chuck was very supportive of the team. And to see him grow from when we were at Mansion, from being a supporter pretty much to a ball player now, professional uh, workout trainer, we want to elaborate on that. So Chuck, tell us a little bit about yourself. Huh? Mansion, man, that's some of the best times of my life. Like before I said, I never, I never played varsity. I played JV in 11th grade, mm. 12th grade. Um, my thing, my 11th grade year was your senior year, um, mm. 97. Right. 12th grade year, um, you know, stuff was tight at home. Had to get a job, family, right. grown man responsibility. So I never played varsity. Um, and then I just went on and you know went to community college, made that team. Then I transferred. That's when it all started. For me. So then I transferred to Manor Junior College, which was. Um, with my best friend Ed Braswell, um, he, he asked me to come over to Manor with him. So I went over to Manor, played well at Manor, got recruited um, at a couple um, D2 schools, D3 schools. So I chose to go to Cheney because I had a full academic scholarship, so I didn't have to pay anything. Great, great. So um, you know that's when I you know went to Cheney, um, and then you know from there, from being at Cheney, you know I was able to um, be blessed to get up under. Uh, a man by the name of John Arnett, um, rest in peace, um, took me under his wing, um, and I started, you know, helping him out, you know, with his workouts and different things like that. You know, I started off as, I guess you could say the water boy, you know, right, right. started off helping him bring the water up, you know, bring the balls up to the gym and different stuff like that. But me, I've always been smart enough to know that no matter who you're around, you can learn something from anybody. Right, so, right, you know, right. I just became a sponge. Right, right. Um, I know I had no, you know, intentions of playing pro basketball or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I just became a sponge. And you know, I developed that bond and that relationship with John. And, you know, he was able to mentor me and, you know, show me the ropes as far as, you know, basketball. And I learned a lot of stuff from him, you know, as far as the game of basketball. So, then after um, John passed, you know, it was a void. You know, in the city, you know, I was coaching at Cheney at the time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had no, I wasn't thinking about no workouts or anything like right, that. Right. So one summer, you know, Deontay Christmas, you know, hit my phone while he was overseas and said, you know, when I come home, I want you to train me. I blew him up like, yeah, all right, okay, I'll train you when you come home. Yeah, okay. I'm not thinking anything of it. Right. So when he came home, he was like, you know, I'm home, you know, I'm gonna take like two weeks off because I had a long season. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're right at it, you know, once I take these two weeks off. So then that's when I, knew he was serious. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, I started YouTube and different stuff, videos mm -hmm. and stuff like that, workout stuff, because now this is, you know, becoming a serious matter. Right, you know, right, right. One foot out the league, he's, right, you know, right. very successful overseas, you know, and he's trying to make the league. So, you know, I just started YouTube and stuff, watching other people workouts and different stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. it was just, you know, me and Deontay, you know, for about three weeks straight, and then he was like, you know, you know, I'm gonna have to bring somebody, you know, with me, can I bring Scott? So then Scott Rogers came mm -hmm. down, and then, you know, while we was using Temple Gym, um, school he ran doing the Khalif Wyatt and started working out. And I think about a month in, a month and a month and a half in, you know, word got around that it just started to, you know, I made explode. So, you know, you know, I had to, you know, be able to, you know, do what I need to do as far as studying the game. I've always been a learner. Mm -hmm. So I have to study the game and, 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 and know what I'm doing because right. we're dealing with you know people's lives, people's mm -hmm. careers, mm -hmm. just how they feed their family. Right, right, so right. I can't be out there, you know, on no BS. Mm -hmm. I mean just doing any old thing. So right. I gotta, you know, sharpen my skills and, and right. become the best that I can be. So right. you know what I mean, I don't know, that's you know how I got to, you know, where I am. Okay. Um, you know, just by being a sponge and mm -hmm. learning, you know, right. studying the game. So if anybody that follows you on Facebook or any other social media, they can see like you're in with NBA pro players. You're, you're driving in the passenger seat, you're in the stadiums with them, you're on the floor. How did you get to the level where you, you, you advance from Chuck Ellis workouts to pros and you're in the gyms and so forth? Um, well, I've been, I've been blessed and fortunate enough to um, be under, you know, some great mentors and my mentality is different with, you know, the younger generation probably called D-E-N. Right. You, you have to network. It's called right, networking. Right, to right, me, it's right. called networking. So I'll shake a stranger's hand and introduce myself to a stranger, mm -hmm. you know, and, and think nothing of it. You know right, I mean? Right. The generation now is like, oh, you and his dig or you mm -hmm. D-E and this, that, and right, the third. Right. So I've always been taught that, you know, networking is the way to success. Mm -hmm. So you have to be able to network with any and everybody. So me, by me networking, then you, you know, form and develop personal relationships with people right, right, and right. my guys most of my guys that, that I work with from Philly mm -hmm. are my guys you right, know what I'm right, saying right. so you know they're like family mm -hmm. so you know what I mean now what you do right by your guys then they start spreading the word uh, 
oh yeah, my guy, you know, I go out, you know, here and there, and I'm going to work them out. Now they have a younger player, like, yeah, my guy coming in town to work out with my guy. So now right. I'm, it's off of word of mouth. You know, I use social media mm -hmm. as a great um, tool, you know what I mean, to put my stuff out there. Um, shout out to um, Jamie Ada. He's been a great, you know, great instrument to, to, to my success by, you know, doing a lot of my videos and different things like that. So, you know, just by doing that, like I said, there's no negativity on my social media. Mm -hmm. Everything is yes. all positive and I'm always putting out, you know, inspirational stuff and I'm always putting out, you know, I mean, workouts and different stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. you can go to my page, you know, people DM me all the time, hey, I need, you know, a workout for this or this, that, and the third. And I just say, well, just, you know, go a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. look out, look at when I worked out Deion Wiggs, look at when I worked out Lou Williams, look at when I worked out Demar's Twins. Mm -hmm. Look at when I work out Deontay Christmas, you know, because all my workouts are different. You can't right. do the same workout mm -hmm. for each player because each player is different. Mm -hmm. Like a Wayne Ellington Deontay Christmas workout won't work for uh, uh, Marcus Morris or Keith Moore because mm -hmm. they're right, shooters right, right. and these guys are more prone to put the ball on the floor and they're more creative. So all my workouts are different. None of my workouts are the same. Mm -hmm. So you know, just just by networking and developing relationships. Okay. So last question I want to ask you: the alumni league. How do you feel? What are your thoughts about? It? Alumni League in today's um, game. The Alumni League is a great, it was a great idea. When I first seen it, and man, you first talked about it, I said, you pretty much, you know, up to something. Mm -hmm. You on to something with the Alumni League because for, for guys that relive the past and, 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 and was somebody in the past, and it was, it, and back in the pub, back when a lot of people was playing, that's when basketball was competitive. Right, right. You right, had right. three and four players on each team, mm -hmm. you know, that was good. Mm -hmm. There was no transferring from right, school right. to school to school. Right, so right. if you wasn't good at Mansion, mm -hmm. nine times out of ten you couldn't transfer to FLC or Albany right, and make right. the team. If you wasn't good, you wasn't good. Right, so you right. had to stay. You you know yeah, if you you had to stay there. Yeah, you know I mean, and and, and and go through the ropes and, and, and earn your stripes. Right, Nowadays right. it's a lot different. If you don't like what's going on the way, you can transfer over here, mm -hmm. then you can transfer over there. Right, so right. it's less competitive because there's so many schools now. But back to the alumni league, like it just makes it it, it brings people back together um, in, a, in a good family atmosphere. You can you know, relive the old days. Mm -hmm. You can still get up and down and be competitive. You know what right, I mean? Talk right. a little trash, but no, it's not going to go no further than that. Right, right, right. Um, and also for guys like me who've never played varsity basketball mm -hmm. and, you know, got a little better once I got older mm -hmm. and understood the game better once I got older, now I could come out here and then, you know what I mean? People are like, damn, he ain't even played varsity. Or, damn, he wasn't shit back in the day. Right, but right. damn, he... Look at my game today. Right, made right, a great right. impact on the game That's today. Made some key plays down down the stretch that won my team the game. Right, right, so right. You know I mean, it just it just brings back so many memories and it brings people together where you know it's a lot of you know a lot of lot of trash talking, mm -hmm. but it's a competitive nature and it don't go any further than that. It's right, like a right, family right. atmosphere. Like people got the kids here, mm -hmm. people bring their wives, their girlfriends, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. After you talk trash and after the game is over, we shake hands and we keep it moving. That's how it should be. Right, right, right. That's how it should be. So this is a great idea. I can see in two years this being the best league everybody's going to be talking about. You know what I mean? Because there's going to be so many teams that's not even in it. Franklin's not in it. Grant's not in it. Alany's not in it. Like, there's so many teams that was good back in the day that's not in it. And you know how people, you know how we are in Philly. Monkey see, monkey do. Right. I ain't going to get in it from the jump and, and, and help it grow. I'm going to wait until it blossom and then say, you right. know what, I want to be a part of it. Right, right, you know right. how we is in Philly. Right, right, so, right, right, right. You know I mean, I just appreciate, you know, the opportunity to be in there. I missed the first couple games that I was on the road for work. But I just appreciate the opportunity for, you know, coming down, you, you hold me a spot. You didn't even play today because you gave me your shirt so I could play. So I just appreciate the opportunity, you know, of coming down, being able to play, being able to compete. You know what I mean? Get up and down, see some guys that I haven't seen in a while. Right, right, and being right. able to, you know what I mean, share this experience. Right, right. Now, I know I said last question, but I think a lot of people are curious, including myself. Is any, what's the next big adventure for Chuck Ellis Workouts Ooh. in your brand? Um, with my brand, that's a funny question because um, I'm kind of like stuck in between career goals. Mm -hmm. um, my ultimate goal is to be a Division One coach, okay. um, assistant, or or um, head coach. Okay. Um, but my brand has grown so much in the last two years that I can't just abandon. It. Right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? So right. I'm kind of in between. So right now, I'm, I, I started my 11th year right now coaching um, college basketball. Um, I'm, I'm at Rutgers um, Camden University. Um, this is my second year there. I did four years at Immaculata University, and I did five years at Cheney University, my alma mater, um, as the head assistant there. So coaching at the Division three level allows me to still do what I need to do in the summertime. If I need to travel during the winter, 
know, my coach is opening up and let me, you know, travel during the winter. So it allows me to stay in the game as well as, you know, continue to build my brand and continue to service my clients. But it's going to be, it's going to come a time where I'm going to have to pick one or the other. I'm not ready for that yet, but it's going to be, it's going to come a time where it's going to be, you have to go all in on this, or you're going to have to go all in on that. So, you know, that's why I'm at, I'm kind of stuck in the middle. Um, if I do, you know, um, choose the workout, um, the workout side, then the next big thing is to do what, you know, Pooh did and, mm -hmm. you know, try to get my own facility. Right, right, That, right, that right, would be right. the next big thing. Okay, if okay. not, then I'll just continue to service the clients that I have, don't take no more clients, and then move back up to the scholarship level as far as um, coaching college basketball. Right, right. Okay, so, okay. You know what I mean? But, but uh, I'm not leaving, would like to thank you for your time. We wish you luck. We wish you ever. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it, Bob. Appreciate it.